the ship Pole 3 and T-8 Ilda Sedilensburg. The bow is damaged from ramming the German torpedo boat Alabatros. The action in the Asloft had occurred late on 8 April 1940 in World War II, as Kampfgrip 5 of the German invasion force proceeded towards Oslo. It encountered Norwegian defences in the Aslofjord. During a short exchange that resulted in the first Norwegian casualty of the war, the Germans managed to push through down to Dra Tilda Sedilla back sound, where they would face more determined resistance. In order to invade Norway, the Germans divided their naval forces into six groups. The fifth of these, Kampfgrip 5, was to pass through the Aslofjord and land troops in Oslo. The group consisted of the heavy cruisers BLA Tilda 1 4th Chur and LA Tilda 1 4th so, the light cruiser Remden, the torpedo boat Albatros, and eight minesweepers. The ships were under orders not to open fire unless fired upon. The outer parts of the Fjord were guarded by the Aslofjord Fortress, established in 1914, made up of smaller forts at BOLA Tilda Simbulrani and RAUA Tilda Sedilla Y. Of the eleven guard ships operating out of Dia Tilda Sedilensburg, Noms Pole 3 would be tasked with patrolling the Aslofjord on the night of 8 April. Requisitioned by the Norwegian Navy in 1939, Pole 3 was armed with a 76 gun and two machine guns. The ship had a crew of 15, including its commander Captain Leif Welding Olsen. Shortly after 23 o'clock on 8 April, Lieutenant Hans Bergen of Pole 3 spotted the anonymous invasion force at the mouth of the Aslofjord. The patrol boat fired warning shot and closed with the German torpedo boat Albatros. The Germans, having seen the patrol boat to their port side, ordered the Albatros to intercept it. Captain Leif Welding Olsen of the Pole 3 had a short conversation with the commander of the German boat. K A P I T A N L U T N A Tilda symbol and Siegfried Strello, who demanded his surrender, to which he refused. Realizing that Norwegian neutrality was going to be violated, Oslan radioed a warning to Horten Naval Base. Alien ships incoming at high speed fired flares for their coastal artillery, then ordered Pole 3 to ram Albatros. Having just been rammed and seeing the guns manned on the patrol boat, Strel ordered his ship's anti-aircraft batteries to open fire on the Norwegian ship. Captain Olsen was struck in the leg by machine gun fire, and the ship was set ablaze. The order was given to abandon ship. The lifeboat was lowered into the water but overturned, so the crew was forced to cling to its sides. Weakened by blood loss, Olsen let go and drowned, becoming the first Norwegian casualty of the war. The surviving 14 crew were picked up by the invasion force and held captive. At 23.30, Camp Grip 5 was spotted by RAUA Tilda Sedilla Y Fort Searchlight. The southern battery of the fort fired two warning shots. At 23.32, BOLA Tilda Symbol Rene Fort fired a single warning shot. At 23.35, RAUA Tilda Sedilla Y fought targeted the crew's BLA Tilda 1 4th chair and fired four live rounds, but missed due to poor visibility. Shortly thereafter the ships disappeared from view in the mist, and contact was lost. The Germans proceeded down the fjord towards Oslo. RAUA Tilda Sedilla Y forwarded Captain Oslan's original warning down to Askar's big fortress which was able to halt the Germans in the Battle of Diari till the Sedilla back sound. Minesweepers detached from the main force would land troops in the area the next morning, and the Norwegians would withdraw from their forts over the next few days. Following Oscar's Bog's capitulation, the remainder of Kampfgrip 5 would land in Oslo on 10 April. After signing an oath of non-belligerence, the captive Norwegians were released and allowed to return home. Noms Pole 3 was left burning and adrift overnight. It trained and the fire burnt out on its own. The next morning the ship was discovered by the Norwegian patrol boat Cud 2, and towed to Tietilde Sedilensburg, where it would be captured by the Germans.